So we know that to understand homelessness, we have to understand the people behind it. And you've been doing this work for quite some time. Is there a story or an anecdote that comes to mind that might help ground us in what it's like for people experiencing homelessness? Sure. I mean, you know, people experiencing experience homelessness for a variety of different reasons. Everybody's story is unique. Um, but one story that comes to mind about the primacy of, of housing and how important housing really is, we had, when I worked at Glide, we had a staff person, a young man, African-American, early, maybe mid-20s. Um, you know, he, was, he came to work for us. He was living at the time with his auntie in Oakland, and he made it to work on time, and he was doing well with our clients, and he was, he was a great, a stable, you know, stable uh, staff person. And then something happened, and we noticed that he was, his temper was fraying, he wasn't as gentle with clients, he was coming to work later and later, he wasn't quite as kept as he, as he used to be. And we had a supervisor ask him what was going on. It turned out that he had had some kind of fight with his auntie, and she didn't want him to stay with her anymore, and so he'd been living in his car. And so, you know, as these things can do, it spiraled. He was living in his car, he got a parking ticket, he got another parking ticket, the car got a boot, it got impounded, and all of a sudden he had nowhere to live. Fast forward a few weeks, this kid is living on the street in a tent with a woman that he met, and he was using meth very heavily. And his, his situation just devolved very, very quickly, and all because he had lost his housing. And I think, you know, we had to let him go from his job, and he was involved in some low-level crimes and wound up in prison. And, you know, if he had been able to keep his housing, that one sort of stabilizing factor, he would have been able to keep his job and have, his life would have been in a very different place. So I think it's, you know, it, it really is important that taking the housing first approach is really vital to the success and stability of families.